Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Melania Trump makes history with badass move before leaving for Japan. The Trumps are off to Asia for their historic trip and Melania Trump is making the right kind of history. Especially when you consider the current social climate, which is all about women empowering women. It is the clarion call of the left, that men have ruined the world, and they blame conservatives more than anyone. Heck, Hillary made it a central point of her campaign, elect me because I am a woman. Remember her humiliating glass ceiling victory party? The horrified look on Hillary supporters' faces will go down in history as an all-time great picture, just like raising the flag on Iwo Jima and the man in the Ananman Square staring down the tanks. Just wonderful. But to show you the liberals' true colors they should be celebrating the fact that, according to Washington Examiner, First Lady Melania Trump will be protected by Japan's first ever all-female police squad when she visits Japan. True. Technically Melania didn't do this but it is historic and she could have refused. But the point is if Melania was a Democrat this would be front page news. She is empowering women and setting a good example, but because Melania is a conservative, nary a word from the media. The job is to look out for any dangers and suspicious individuals at the destination of female dignitaries, Police Sergeant Kawamura Reiko said according to Newsweek. Our aim is to be gentle and astute, utilizing the viewpoint and sensibility unique to women to ensure there won't be any dangerous things or suspicious people at the location. Good for Melania for setting the proper example, regardless if the media covers it. Unbelievable. The DNC just sent an email that proves they're sexist, racist and crazy. We all know the Democrat Party detests straight white men. This week, they made it official in an internal email we were never supposed to see. But it leaked thanks to the Daily Wire, who obtained the following copy of the correspondence. The email, which outlines open positions that need to be filled, ends with the directive, I personally would prefer that you not forward to cisgender straight white males since they're already in the majority. Wow! Madeline Leader, the data analyst who wrote the email, is clearly breaking the law with this ask, not that the DNC cares. They will happily look the other way when men, whites, or Christians are discriminated against. Now we know why, because they do it themselves. It's not all that surprising, but it's nice to see it official. The Democrats are racist, sexist, and plain crazy. The Daily Wire also published an apparent apology from the DNC, but they're only backtracking now that they've been caught. Share so people can see how much Democrats hate their white male voters. If people saw this, maybe they'd finally stop voting these idiots into office. Trump just announced a $100 billion surprise for the United States. Media can't hide this. When Trump became president, he promised that he would create a business climate that would keep major companies in the United States. Today, Trump made that happen by announcing that Broadband Limited will be moving from Singapore back to the United States. Amen to that. Watch the astounding moment below. In a light moment. Broadcom CEO Hock Tan told attendees that his mother never thought her son would ever meet a president in the Oval Office. And my mother, too, joked President Trump. According to AP, Broadcom Limited will locate its address in Delaware and will bring in an annual revenue to the U.S. of $20 million. That's freaking amazing. Share this to help Trump out because the media is not going to cover this at all. Hidden in GOP's tax bill is gift for Christians Trump promise that has liberals howling with rage. The left is not going to like this one bit. And because they are out of power, 
a total wipeout across state and federal governments, they have no say. Zip. Zilch. Nada. That is unless the GOP goes coward again and splits between their factions and Pelosi can swoop in with enough votes to steal the deal. If that happens the GOP will get slaughtered in the 2018 midterms. But for now it looks like the GOP is on the same page on taxes and is relegating Pelosi to the dustbin of history. Where she belongs. Sadly, we will still be able to hear her one wherever she is and you know she is screaming after she saw what the GOP put in their new tax bill. Trump promised he would do this and, unlike every other politician on the planet, he is actually doing what he said. Isn't it great? According to The Hill, the tax bill will officially end the Johnson Amendment so churches can endorse political candidates. The Johnson Amendment is a law from the 50s and it prohibits 501c, 3, nonprofits from certain political activities. President Trump said he would get rid of it to give our churches their voice back. And it looks like this is another promise Trump will keep. Share if you are proud of President Trump. No more games Trump just hammered Congress and said the one thing that will end immigration program. President Trump's plan for American greatness will only succeed with great security. As we learn yet again in New York City, there should be no limit to precaution when it comes to human lives. Say Flo Sipoy, the terrorist who ran over innocent bystanders with his truck, was allowed into the U.S. in 2010 through our country's diversity visa lottery. I guess now we know why President Trump has been against it from the start. Diversity Lottery. Sounds nice. It's not nice. It's not good. It hasn't been good. We've been against it, he said during a cabinet meeting. But on Thursday, President Trump announced the process of terminating the program in an effort to further secure our borders. I am calling on Congress to terminate the diversity visa lottery program that presents significant vulnerabilities to our national security," Trump said in a tweet that featured a video of him talking to a roundtable of House lawmakers. President Trump, who has pledged since his campaign to crack down on immigration, fervently renewed his call for immediate action. Above all else, this includes ditching Obama's spineless tactics and implementing harder-hitting immigration policy. Congress must enchain migration so that we can have a system that is security-based. We need to make America safe. Hashtag USA, tweeted Trump. Why does it have to take so many dead Americans to make real change? While Obama and Hillary were sitting back and rubbing shoulders with the enemy, President Trump has been fighting to free our nation from the fear of radical Islamic terror. Who sounds like the leader you want to follow? who sounds like a man who will pledge to protect our families and our home. Let us know the answer and share this truth with the world. Sources, TheHill.com NFL owners struck dumb after seeing their punishment in Trump's new tax bill. Who knew taxes could be so fun? Certainly not me. Usually taxes are like a brutal trip to the dentist. But not with Trump leading this great nation. The GOP tax bill, and I know they still have to get it signed in a do-nothing Congress and that is easier said than done. But the GOP seems to be together and the tax plan looks to be a slam dunk. In one stunning move, Trump followed through on his promise to get rid of the Johnson Amendment that prohibited churches from engaging in politics and delivered for the middle class like Obama never could or would. But it gets better. Because, after threatening and promising he may do it, Trump hit the NFL where it hurts. In their taxpayer-funded luxury stadiums that allowed them to reap enormous profits while taxpayers foot the bill. It is a terrible scam and Trump just ended it. Close the huge loophole the NFL and other sports owners use to blackmail local populations. According to the Washington Times, the tax bill will prohibit professional sports stadiums from taking advantage of tax-exempt bonds, which state and local governments often float for important public works projects. In other words the taxpayer-funded gravy train is over. 
Now get your employees off their knees before it gets worse. Share if you agree. What Rosie O'Donnell just said about Kevin Spacey proves she's a garbage human. Rosie O'Donnell responded to allegations against Kevin Spacey this week, and it looked like a reasonable response at first. But, like all things O'Donnell says, it's actually terrible. It's hard to argue with her condemnation of Kevin Spacey, who was accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old boy, but did she just say she knew about it? She did. She said all of Hollywood knew. So why didn't anyone say anything? Probably because they don't care about the rampant sexual assault that plagues their industry. They've been complicit in these crimes because they're either involved or don't want the bad press. But at least most are smart enough to hide their knowledge of these events. O'Donnell, on the other hand, just let everyone know how terrible she is. She knew and said nothing. She is garbage like the rest of Hollywood. Comment disgusting and share if you think Rosie is the worst. Her industry is without morals and they must be shamed for their inaction.